Once upon a time, in a calm village nestled among beautiful mountains in Japan, there lived a humble monk named Kaido. He was well known in the region for being very wise, kind, and good at comforting people who were having tough times. Kaido had spent many years thinking deeply and meditating, and he knew a lot about how people feel and act. One winter, the village faced many difficulties. It was extremely cold, and snow covered everything. The villagers felt very sad and were losing hope. During these hard times, Kaido decided to share some of his Buddhist wisdom to help his fellow villagers. He gathered everyone in the village's small temple, where candles flickered and incense filled the air. Kaido began by saying, My dear friends, I understand that these times are tough, and life may feel very hard. But just like the lotus flower grows from muddy water, we can find peace even in chaos. He explained that Buddhism teaches us to find inner peace, even when things are difficult. He encouraged the villagers to understand that everything in life, whether good or bad, is temporary. To explain this, he told them a story about a strong oak tree in a nearby valley. This tree had faced many storms and heavy snow, but it stood tall because its roots were deeply connected to the earth. Kaido told the villagers to find their inner strength through mindfulness and meditation, just like the oak tree. He taught them a simple meditation technique, to sit quietly, close their eyes, and focus on their breath. With each breath in and out, they should let go of their worries and fears. In this quiet state, they would find the strength to endure, just like the oak tree. Kaido reminded them that suffering comes from being too attached to things and pleasures. By letting go of these attachments, they could find lasting happiness within themselves. As the villagers began to follow this advice, they found peace in their hearts and learned to accept the difficulties of winter. With time, the village changed. The once sad faces of the villagers turned into smiles of contentment. They supported each other through the hard winter, and their community grew stronger. Kaido's wisdom helped them take the first step towards enduring difficult times. As winter continued, Kaido gathered the villagers again to share his second piece of advice, embracing change. Some villagers were still struggling to adapt to the changing circumstances. Kaido told them, life is like a river, always changing and unpredictable. To find contentment and keep going during tough times, we must learn to embrace this constant change. He shared a story about a young bamboo shoot he saw during his morning meditation. It started as a fragile sprout but grew tall and strong by swaying gracefully with the winds of change. Kaido encouraged the villagers to reflect on their own lives and see challenges as opportunities for growth. He explained that resisting change only prolongs suffering, like trying to swim against a strong current. Kaido introduced mindfulness in daily life, asking villagers to be fully present in each moment and accept it as it comes. He said that resisting change creates suffering, but accepting it with an open heart brings peace even in turmoil. The villagers began to practice mindfulness in their daily activities, finding joy in simple things like the taste of a meal or the warmth of the sun. Their resistance to change lessened, and they became more resilient in difficult times. They realized that, like the bamboo shoot, they could adapt and grow through life's changing seasons. As spring arrived, Kaido shared his third piece of advice, cultivating compassion. While they had found inner peace and embraced change, 
they still needed to nurture compassion in their hearts to truly thrive. Kaido said, compassion is the heart of Buddhist teachings. To endure hard times, we must not only find peace within ourselves but also share that peace with others. He told a story about finding a wounded bird on a snowy path and how he cared for it. He encouraged the villagers to see the suffering of those around them and extend a hand of compassion. To cultivate compassion, Kaido introduced the practice of loving-kindness meditation. Villagers sat in meditation and silently wished for the happiness, health, and ease of all beings. This practice opened their hearts and sent positive energy into the world. Kaido emphasized that compassion should extend to all living beings, not just humans. As the villagers practiced loving-kindness meditation, they noticed a change in their relationships and felt more connected to all living things. They helped each other with kindness, and the village became a place of harmony and goodwill. With Summer's bounty, Kaido gathered the villagers again to share his fourth piece of advice, the power of mindful action. He saw that they needed guidance on how to put their wisdom into meaningful actions. Kaido said, finding peace and compassion within is important, but it's equally important to turn these virtues into actions that benefit us and others. He shared a story of a neighboring village that had helped their neighbors after a devastating fire. This, he explained, is the power of mindful action. He encouraged the villagers to reflect on their own lives and see how they could make a positive impact, no matter how small. Kaido introduced the concept of right livelihood, explaining that even simple work could be a source of joy and meaning if done with mindfulness and integrity. He urged them to consider how their daily activities could become acts of service to their community. Kaido reminded them that every action, no matter how small, could create positive change, like ripples in a pond. He said the world needs people who act with care and intention. As the villagers embraced mindful action, they found a deeper sense of purpose in their daily lives. Their work, when approached with mindfulness and compassion, brought them joy and connected them with others. In conclusion, Kaido's teachings had a profound impact on the village. They learned to find peace in chaos, embrace change, cultivate compassion, and take purposeful actions. The village became a beacon of positivity and light for everyone who encountered it. Kaido's wisdom shaped not only their individual lives but also their collective destiny. They realized that their spiritual journey's true power lay in applying their wisdom to create a better world, one mindful action at a time. As the seasons continued to change, the villagers lived by Kaido's teachings, knowing that with mindfulness and compassion, they could endure any difficult days that came their way. Together, they illuminated the world with the enduring light of Buddhist wisdom.